Do I look pretty for you, don't I? <laughs> oh dear. Have you seen this fucking lot here? Eh? Unreal, isn't he? It is the 20th of July 2017. At least I think he's a 20th. According to me, what it is. And it is chucking it down a rain. Oh, goody. Absolutely. Which means it's going to end up getting me drowned. I mean, it ain't done a bad job already. And that was just walking from the house to the car, and then walking from here to there and there to here. Oh, I love it. I do. I absolutely fucking love it. I'm going to pop over the road, grab a trailer and go off up to Leachfield and hope that it, was, it, it doesn't end up being the same as it was yesterday. <coughs> because yesterday I got to Leachfield at, I think it was around about 20 to 11 in the morning and I left at... 10 past 5. Yeah. I did. They are uh, not doing very well over there. It's not their fault. I mean, uh, it doesn't bother me as long as I've got something to do. If it's like this, that's when it can get a bit of a pain in the arse because obviously you can't sit outside and yesterday I was sitting outside and then there was a couple of our lads who was coming in and what have you and at least we got something to you know, do like talk to you and have a natter and a con which, which breaks it up and it's also passes the time but if not I always stick the fucking YouTube on and watch a bit of that crap like you know but uh, six and a half hours is how long I was there for six and a half hours Yes, it's all good fun. But that's the sort of thing that happens as a driver. A lot of drivers were um, complaining. And um, at the end of the day, there's not a lot that people can do. Because, like I say, it's not really um, their fault altogether. They've lost staff and this that and the other and there's bits and bobs that are also going on about it like you know I mean the fact that DCs are you know in other areas of clothes and there was a problem with one and this that it just it all compounds itself right and I was talking to one of the guys there and I said to him like you know when the when it, when it first opened up in Litchfield I says that yes you're going to get the teething problems like that where it's going to be a Panny arse struggle. It's gonna be a long time to get tipped or prom bays and what have you. But eventually it ironed itself out and it became quite nice. You go in, drop your trailer maybe, or on a bay, get tipped within about 45 an hour, depending. But when the likes of um, DCs get closed down with a with their capacity of pallets, and then you have uh, a DC breakdown with their capacity of pallets, even though it was only for like a just over a day, but that's still a lot of fucking capacity. And having to divert it between other DCs, which are already at capacity, then you have to make yourself in that frame of mind, whereas, well, okay, so you've got all this extra coming in, where's it gonna go? course you know if there's more coming in than actually going out the fucking door what do you expect and that's how I look at it and there's not a really lot you can do about it so I just carry on regardless uh, and that's the end of that so I'll either have like I call it a day out of Tesco's or it'll be okay we just don't know I'm not bothered I don't care
Pull the nut. Have your day, you. <laughs> oh, dear. <sighs> That's it. Can't think of anything else. Apart from the look of this shit. Yeah. No good, is he? This is just... Yeah. This is the type of thing where I always would like to go back home and stay there. And not come out. Hmm. Zero six o'clock. I'm going over there so I haven't got to pick a driver up. Because I ain't thinking of that. I better move this with number plate. Because we ain't got no, no empties here. Whenever it does most of the time rain, you can guarantee it's going to stretch through to the weekend, you know what I mean? Which is going to fuck my lawn up. Or should I call it grass? No, I'll call it grass. It'll fuck the grass up. Because it'll sprout now and it'll just go like nuts. And uh, then it'll end up being fucking like wildfire again. Ooh. More work. I wanted to get the back sorted out to the, well, the, how can I put it, it's at the back of my back garden, which is on by the little cul-de-sac area. I want to get that sorted out, and also down the, the where the front porch is, there's a little bit that runs down there, I want to get that sorted out as well, but I reckon now, unless we're lucky, and this might end up blowing over from today, and dry out through Friday, you know, there's a possibility, could do. And then I can get it done, but I, I can't see it. No, I can't see it. I've got to get the mower sorted out as well because it's uh, it smokes a lot. Which is a bit of a shame. I'm a bit annoyed about that, but no, whatever. Not to worry. I'll fix it. I'm sure of it. And today, hopefully, I'm going to go to the bike shop. I'm going to uh, have a word. Yeah. I'll let you know the progress of that afterwards when I find out what, what's gonna, what the crack is like, you know. So, stay tuned for that one. Anyway, I mean, as I've got nothing else to say, and I'm going to bore the piss out of you, I'll go and I'll speak to you all later or tomorrow. So, you have a wonderful day. If you can, that is. I mean, you never know. You might be in a, either in a different country where the sun is shining, happy days, you know what I mean? Or you might be in a different part of this country where it isn't arsenic down the rain. So good luck to you. <laughs> I'm going to go. I'll see you later. Bye.